This is my love letter to Pal World. <laughs> this game is amazing. Last time I was playing Pokemon, I was in the Alola region. And as much as people are saying this game is a shameless ripoff of Pokemon, that couldn't be further from the truth. You don't understand the amount of joy I found when I picked up a slightly bigger Fox Sparks, okay? You can pick up Fox Sparks and use it like a flamethrower to roast small and innocent sheep while demanding slave labor to brutalistic extents from your other mons. Monsters, pal, pals, pals. They may get sprains and fractures that you can just ignore like the absolute monster that you are, which I, um, I did. I love animals. I, I love taking care of them. Why was I such a monster while playing this game? This game this game incentivizes you catching people, not pals, people, and selling them on the black market. They sell for significantly more than pals do of their same level. Once you set up a rudimentary base, you never really need to do that whole grindy base building, building element if you don't want to. Now, that part of the game is really fun and you should definitely do it, but you can just go explore, which in my first playthrough is what I did. I just started up, set a respawn point, built a very small starter base, and then explored the world using the awesome movement mechanics. And I went into areas that would definitely kill me because the pals were just way too strong. And I ran away. I was genuinely scared, even though dying isn't super bad. And the way they have set up the respawn points is that in the beginning of the game, all the respawn points are condensed. You never are too far away from a respawn point, so you can always get your stuff easier. But as you explore farther out of, from the beginning of the game and farther out of the map, the respawn points become farther and farther apart. This implements more challenge to longer players, players who have gotten more skilled, better equipment, better gear. This was a very intelligent design that I don't even know if it was on purpose or just a fact of how the map was laid out. The worlds and biomes feel different from each other. This game feels like a triple A game that was properly polished, that was properly developed and had taken the time and love and care for the developers. And it's $30 and came out on sale on day one. Building mechanics are awesome. It's like a fusion of arc and rust. The movement mechanics are my favorite I've played. When you're going downhill, you can slide like you're on a slip and slide. When you're going uphill, you can't slide. It's the movement I love in Apex and is why I keep playing Apex. It's got the flight of Genshin and it's got upgrades. You can fly on a manta ray. You can fly on a glider. You can fly on a parachute. You can fly on a bird. You can swim on a surgle. It's got amazing movement and traversal mechanics, incentivizing exploring and discovering the vast world that is Pal World. This isn't Pokemon. This is what Spaceballs is to Star Wars. It's its own movie that takes homage to the ideas of classic sci-fi. The game is not grindy. It doesn't have repetitive elements besides just progressing. In the beginning, you can catch a Vixie and assign it to a ranch, and you are set for all of the basic starting items that you need to craft often, like pal balls, arrows, money. This feels like what Ark Survival Evolved should have been. And I don't see Pokemon innovating too much. Last Pokemon game I played was Alola, and as far as I can tell, they're pretty much the same. Yes. Some of the designs are similar to Pokemon. Like, it's like a Halo 2 lobby. Having your friend scream over, look, it's a giant cat. Let's throw it off the cliff. Lost all faith in gaming, okay? But for $35, this game has no DLC. This game has no expanded content. It is a polished game that has minor bugs for being three, four, at least on the 19th. Five days old at the recording of this video, it has less bugs than a modern Bethesda title that has had 12 years of development time and a AAA budget. It's got less bugs than my favorite game, Apex, than my another game I've been enjoying, uh, Starfield. And this game I think is best experienced with friends, okay? This feels like 
back in 2012 playing Gary's Mod with my friends on Discord. Back when I was playing Minecraft and I still enjoyed it and the joy of Minecraft hadn't been seeded over with my old age and my nihilism. I'm having so much fun playing it. Uh, I love this game. I love this game. Okay. Please, if you've played Power World, write how much you love the game in the comments. If you haven't played Power World yet, and you do, I hope this video convinces you to play Power World. I'm not being paid to do this. I just genuinely love this game. I am so happy that this came out.